Now let's focus on fixed income and just since May, one institution has bought $8.4 billion worth of exchange traded funds invested in bonds. Now the institution of course is the U.S. Federal Reserve, but has the world's most important central bank done well with the purchases? Well joining us now on the phone is Athanasios Psarofagis from Bloomberg Intelligence. So Athanasios, great to have you on the program. Uh, what sort of return did the Fed actually get relative to other investors? Hi, Francine. Good morning. Yeah, so the Fed, uh, their purchases have stopped uh, this past month. So, like you said, they bought about $8.4 billion. That is worth now about $8.6 billion. So, in an absolute dollar amount, they're up about $230 million on this portfolio. On a percentage basis, that's about 2.5%. Uh, I mean, one thing I think it's important to note is that the Fed, when they were coming in, they weren't coming in as a, as a trader, per se, right, being tactical and really essentially trying to make money on these positions. They were trying to prop up and support liquidity and the bond market. But what I think is who the real winners were was when the Fed announced that they were going to be supporting the bond market in March, they didn't actually make their first purchase until May. In that two-month period, you saw about $24 billion come in into these 16 products that the Fed is currently owned. And if you look at the average gain of those ETFs um, since that time, they're up on average about 20 percent. So you actually see who the real winners were, were a lot of these front runners that probably up on average about 20 percent versus when the Fed actually came in and they're up about, uh, the Fed, like I said, is up maybe about 2.5%. So there was a lot of front running going on right after the announcement in between then and then the Fed's actual first purchase of the ETF. So Athanasios, you, you say basically that they bought no new ETFs in August. Why did they stop the purchases? Yeah, good question. So they, like I said, it's worth about $8.6 billion. Total flows into those products are about $74 billion since the announcement. I think one of the reasons they stopped was I think the job was done. They, for, they, they've showed that they've made good on their word. They said they were going to buy ETF. With this initial investment, it looks like that the, the support was there for the bond market, or at least for the ETFs. On, on the second note was originally they did mention that they were going to stop buying in September. Um, so it looks like they're holding true to that. And, and lastly, what they're starting to do is transition away from the ETFs and actually buying individual bonds. So they, they built this index. So they're moving away from that and buying the individual names. And I think that's really interesting because eventually what you have to realize is at one point they're going to probably have to sell these ETFs, right? So like we saw front running on the way in, it'd be interesting to see if people catch wind uh, of a sale of the Fed of these ETFs, do we see front running on the way back? So I think that's one of the reasons why we saw the, the Fed stop purchasing this last month. 